Good morning. Welcome to Nakafurano. This is a beautiful place. Look at that view down there. This is from our log cabin. That's Daisetsukan National Park in the distance. This is our RV camper. Peter's just packing up right here and we're getting ready to check out of this amazing log cabin. I'm gonna take you inside just for a minute to take a look. We're gonna check out, uh, here's the key, how cool is that? We had a wonderful breakfast inside. The hosts were very nice. And uh, we'll take a look from, well, I'll show you from the, the distance, but we are going to take you in the RV and then show you the lavender. Just gonna pan around a little bit here. It's a beautiful little place to stay. Oh, we left some bananas behind. We can't eat them. We feel bad. Oh, Peter should just throw them away. All right, you gotta take your shoes off at the door. And here's, I'll take a look, very quick look on the second floor. We slept in here, very nice, uh, very cozy. Um, nice and cool with the windows open. Oh. And let's get moving. Whoosh. There is Wi-Fi here. There is Wi-Fi here, so uh, you get 4G signal and Wi-Fi, which is really great in a remote area like this, which is you see I'm streaming it on. Hi. Hello. All right. So we're gonna drive down towards. Uh, uh, we got a, an appointment to meet with uh, the uh, lavender people at Tomita Farms, and we're gonna drive down there and show you some of the lavender on the way that makes this city so famous. I gotta put my mask on to check out. Hi, That's a nice looking cabin too. That's a double, that's a duplex. They have a toilet and laundry as well right there. All right, Peter, rock and roll. I even brought along my one sandal. For nostalgia? No, it's still good. All right, bye lovely home. You were great for one night and we enjoyed you. Yeah, except for the bananas. I think that's trash, dude. No, they can, they can them. Are you Don't kidding me? They're Strangers not bananas. bananas. Well, they're not used, but I wouldn't eat it. Well, they're better people than me. You're wasteful. You're the one who bought the bananas. The bananas are meant to be eaten. Man, like all sugar. You returned the room key? I did. Okay. I said thank you to the nice lady and off we go. Offered her bananas? I did not. This is the Lake Akan manhole cover card that I got from the information center yesterday. Very cool. Gives you information on the area too. If you go to the information centers in cities with manhole covers, you can get these. Just ask for the manhole cover card. They're free. Just so you know. Have you seen my sunglasses by chance that we're sitting here? Um, I did not. I think they're packed in your suitcases, but I didn't see them in the room. Did you take them, man? I didn't wear them in the room. They were here. You want to do another check inside? I'll just do it real quick. Okay, the room is open. It only takes about two minutes to get down into the town, which is another convenient place. But if you can't you can walk it, it takes about 20 minutes to get into a nice breeze. It's so cool here. No humidity at all. Well, a little bit, but it's not the same type of weather as down in, in Tokyo. This is so nice. Um, we're 
dreading going back actually, but the last 10 days have been wonderful. This is the last day. By the way, I, I, I don't want to keep promoting it a little bit. Uh, it's important this trip. Uh, it's the last day, and this is also the last day of the time sale. Did you find them? Were they there? No. Okay. You gotta be in here somewhere. You gotta be in here somewhere. for a postcard and, and, it's, and a, a download of this documentary, which looks like it's going to be about an hour and a half, two hours long, um, documenting these 10 amazing days. And there's uh, trip updates, behind the scenes trip updates of us exhausted, ripping on one another, pretty much chopping us down, down, Each other down. since we have no egos at all and very little pride. Very but we humble. have respect for one another. Respect for one another, which transcends the insults. They're not even insults, they're just like jabs that guys do. If you're not doing it, you're not having fun. Are you doing it? They're not doing it. They're not doing it. Do right. you know how to get to this place? Uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, easy. Go uh, go to the east until you smell it, and to the north until you step in it. Okay. Well, I west. smell it already. That's how we say, how do you get from Columbus, Ohio to Ann Arbor, Michigan? Go north until you smell it. Go west until you step in it. You'll arrive in Ann Arbor. Why does it smell? Is, it, is there a factory there? It's a crappy place. Toilet. The stadium looks like a big toilet bowl, 110,000 people. Jesus. Hey, Google Earth it. It's a toilet bowl. Seriously. The field is the hole. Every Ohio State fan knows this. We live it. All right, thank you, uh, Himawadi Cottage. That was awesome. Yes, very nice. I'm glad we could stay in a bed. It was a comfortable there. bed, right? Yeah, it was super comfortable. See what I tell you? It's nice yeah. to have a night out of the RV, just to kind of mix it up. You're right about that. Right? And then down the hill? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, and, and, and at that place, we take a right instead of a left. But we can uh, sort of show the peeps that. Down the hill. Now, that's Naka Furano down there. And we walked around for dinner. And we could not find a place open. There was one place, but it was Monseki, like full. Uh, and the re Google reviews did not like, people did not like the owners. Which I could feel bad for because a few bad reviews can uh, really hurt. Mm. But... I don't know. We, we found, found a fantastic Nepalese restaurant. Oh yeah, that Naples. There's an amazing Nepalese uh, Nepalese uh, restaurant, Indian type of food, uh, between Naka Furano and Furano Station that was out of sight, family run. I the wife seemed Japanese, the owner. I, I'm not sure. I didn't ask them, but super friendly, delicious food. Only cost us about twelve bucks a person, and we we were so full at the end of it. Blueberry lassi. I never had that before. So yeah, that made up for the the two uh, k of walking we did in the town looking for a place to eat. They do they do have really nice parks here. And it just you can smell the lavender in the air. Yeah, on the right side there is a lavender place here. Let me I can show you. Is that Katayama that chiming in here? Hey Katayama. What was the restaurant called? That's a good question. Nepalese dining. Nepalese dining. Whoa. Are going right here? Uh, you want to just drive around the parking lot? Yeah, all right. Well, what time people. is it? It's we got time. It's a minute from here. Uh, we don't, I don't think we smell like muck. We smell like lavender. We smell like lavender. So is this place free to go in? Yeah. Wow, check this out. So we're, this is going to be part of the documentary as well. We're going to Tomita Farms, which is one of the best, uh, highly recommended uh, area. And yeah, you can walk through this, get pictures. If you start here at the end... You take the photo this direction, I think you get all the mountains, right? Yeah. In the background, it's beautiful. Uh, lavenders in the middle there. These don't look like, like lavenders in the front, right? No, those, those are marigolds. Marigolds? Yeah. And I think this is the end of the season. 
Lavender will cover up the smell of the muck. Emoji Peter, emoji John. Why don't you, uh, we're going to spin around. Look at the, the uh, mountain up there, kind oh, wow, of erupting. Can you see it can you see the... this? Can you see the smoke? Yeah, I don't think it's an eruption, but it might be. I think it is. Yeah, that's that's a lot of. What do you think, ash, Jason? Is that an eruption steam coming out of there? Something's coming out. That's wow. a lot. Yeah, I guess that's an explosion. We'll ask the, we'll ask them at the uh, Tomita Farms. Let's get moving. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Robert's here for the meal fund. Bon appetit. We're going to put that towards our melon. We're going to be eating all you can eat melon and live streaming that in about two and a half hours from now. You're not going to miss that part of the adventure and the fun of the last day. Look at that. It looks like it's a volcano, doesn't it? It's like it's, 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 a, it's a pretty major. Anybody check online, see Dicetscon National Park, if they have some kind of a, an eruption going on? This way, right? Yeah. That is not Mount Fuji. I guess yeah, we can it's park at a campfire. It has not a campfire. We can park in the same parking lot we were at yesterday. So just straight on, I believe, right? Well, it's called. A, oh shoot! Over here. Come meet the melon house. Good save, Peter. Yeah. Good save. I should have picked that up as navigator. To meet uh, the melon. Pocket fan writes in here. Hi, John. Peter, love the live streams. I was wondering how much these types of trips cost, especially with the RV. Thanks, and how. Thanks and much love for Toronto. What what is the RV per night? For one night, you remember? Well it's about about depends on the size of the vehicle you get, but uh it ranges from around Nimon to twenty five thousand, twenty six thousand per day. Two hundred bucks a night. Per day, yeah. Per day. Ah, oh, you could have parked here. This is quite a ways away from the from the melon house, isn't it? Well I'm meeting at the melon house. You can drive up there, see where the cars are. Or maybe I'll drop you right off. There. But you don't have a bunch of gear, no I don't know what we're going to need, but I, I just know that that's I'm really stunning. Here. Look at that, guys. Yeah. Wow. There's no one's up going, boy, that's a tight turn. Yeah, that's why it? I told you to go down there. See, he didn't listen to me. Didn't listen. It's right next to the melon house, I told you. Okay, but, boss. Try it. Cool hand loop. Um, I'll get him pulling this one. That's for maybe for uh, deliveries. Yeah. Like, that's all right. We'll back it out. You can go back to that parking lot back there. Sure. Do you want me to get, to get out here? We have to bring your cameras and stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's just go back. I can go right down. Yeah. Uh, so you can look to your left, please. Yeah. If you're you're clear. You're clear. You're clear. Good. 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 Alright. Yeah, today we're going to be meeting Melon Kuma. Apparently, my assistant, Emmy, who's a wonderful person, was able to get Melon Kuma to, to uh, make an appearance today for us. Peter's dream, his third dream or wish from his genie was to get his head bitten by Melon Kuma. It's gonna go happen. Down. Whoa, you're gonna go down this way? Oh, this is nothing. This is not child's play. Just compared like to nothing. a Kamui Waka. That's true. Nut. Absolute nut. Wow. Toronto is a must if you're in Hokkaido in June, Jill, end of June, July, and the beginning of August. It is so beautiful. Just if you're looking for a place to eat. And coincidentally, those are the three exactly. best months to ride a motorcycle in Hokkaido. Yeah, June, July, and August. It doesn't really rain that much. We got blue skies today, everybody. Awesome, awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll be back in a couple of hours at the Melon All You Can Eat Melon Dome in Ubadi. The best, the Cadillac of Japanese melons and cantaloupes. They're melons, or the cantaloupes. We'll, we'll ask them. See you, everybody. Bye. Is that smoking? I think that's somebody. Comment, is that a volcano at Daisetsukan yeah. National Park? Yeah, it's a volcano up there. Fly the drone over. Do it.